often you have to set up multiple copies of worksheets in a workbook that have similar structure. For example, for each of the 50 U.S. states, you might want to set up a sales worksheet where the underlying structure is the same. Or for each continent, you might have a worksheet for sales and you want the structure to be the same. Let's show you an easy way to accomplish this goal. So in this workbook, we'll call it 3D template temp, I guess. We've got four worksheets. By the way, hitting the plus sign, you can add worksheets for Latin America, US, Asia, and Europe. And we want to basically set up the same structure in each worksheet. We'll keep it simple. But just a little tip here, you do control shift page down, you cycle between your worksheets. Control shift page up, you go back to the beginning. So that's fairly straightforward. Now here's the way this works. Okay. So what you're going to do is hold down the shift key and select the range of worksheets that you want to have the same template for. So I'm holding down the shift key. I was in Latin America, and now basically I've grouped these worksheets. So now let's suppose in A1 I want to have price, an A2 demand, and in A3 I want to have revenue. And let's say I put in a price and demand. They would be different in each place. And revenue is price times demand. Okay, now I've done it. If I hit enter and I just hit escape key or click on the bottom here to get out of what's called that group mode, you can see every worksheet looks the same. So again, all I did was select the first work, be in the first worksheet, hold down the shift key, select the last worksheet where I want to set up the uh, sort of identical templates. Then in the first worksheet, set up the template and all the worksheets are set up in identically the same, in the same, fa identically the same fashion. I guess that's an oxymoron. Okay. But that concludes this short video. But remember that control shift page up or down, keystroke shortcut, because that's very useful.